วัสดีค่ะ I'm delighted and honored to be here to tell you my story. It is about how the company I co-founded, Listen Field, will make life better for farmers and for the rest of us. I believe that our API integration platform will help farmers to produce more clean food in the way that make our planet more sustainable. I grew up in Banna, the village of Paddy Fields in Nakhonayok Province, 100 kilometers from Bangkok. I was typical of many Thai girls until we lost my father when I was just 14 years old. We felt like we were in a small boat, lost at sea. We suffered. But along the way, good things has also happened so much so that I'm able to be here with you today. I was a good student, but never the best. I did not like the routine of standing in the sun for assembly each morning before the class begin. So I tried to sneak over the school friends just before the class begin. Definitely not a good long-term strategy. I found a better way. I volunteer to help look after the school computers every morning. It was from this that I learned to write antivirus computer program. Programming remains an important of my life to this day. One thing led to another, and one day, I obtained a degree in computer study from King Mongkut Institute of Technology, Ladgabang. I then continued my study at Asian Institute of Technology. My thesis, apply advanced image processing technology to convert two-dimension digital images into three-dimensional shape of corals. In so doing, we were able to monitor the growth and determine the health of coral reefs. I then turned my interest to agriculture a proud moment for me was the success we had in boss cutting in real time images of spinach plants in Qiangdao to the University of Tokyo. Our sensor also monitor soil acidity, availability of water, temperature, and moisture in the air. Why was this important? Japan used to import spinach from another country but found chemical residues and need to find another sort of supply when processed and analyzed. Xiangdao images allow Japanese consumers to see with their own eyes how we in Thailand are growing fresh organic spinach using the minimum amount of fertilizer. We want Japanese consumer confidence. They know about the sort of supply and can see with their own eyes how spinach plant growing in real time. Back then in 2006, there was no internet in Qiangdao, a remote part of Thailand. So we built field server, essentially computer that processed the data on site in the field to economize on the use of information, which was then transmitted via IP star satellite to the computer that broadcast information on the screen. This project created a lot of winners. And with this, we in Thailand, our technology can empower huge Thai farmers to grow fresh organic spinach, which won Japanese consumer confidence. Moreover, this project also attracts such a wide interest that more Japanese academics visited the area. They kindly grant more scholarship to help try children to further their education. This project creates many winners and it opened up a new world for me. From then on, I knew what I was born to do and this is what Listen Field will do in the years to come. I then received a scholarship from the National Agriculture Research Institute of Japan, 
Professor Kiyoshi Honda was my advisor. He guided me to do a PhD dissertation at Chubu University in Nagoya on an API integration platform for ergonomic models. Definitely not a catchy title, but I believe that our work could be an important contribution to precision agriculture because it provides insight into three things which are most important for our plants. First is soil. Japan already survey and therefore know the quality of the country top soil, the top 15 centimeter. Using this data and deeper soil sample, I built what I call a soil fusion model that can determine deeper soil sample, deeper to 60 centimeter, that can tell about the soil quality everywhere in Japan. This information available for everyone using API. Second is climate and weather condition. For this, I used 30 years of climatological data as the benchmark. This weather pattern can determine the climate condition at precise location with the help of on-site sensor. Our sensor monitor rainfall and combined with past data can help anticipate short-term trends. Our sensor also monitor moisture and other factors that are important for plant growth. That is, our model can provide detailed and timely data about climate conditions as well as their outlook at precise location anywhere in Japan. Third is cultivar coefficient. Plants have their own unique genotypes. This means that they will grow and reproduce differently in the response of environmental condition. This cultivar file that this field have put together can help tell you how your plants are growing under prevailing condition. Even better, we can tell you how your plants will turn out if they are fed differently or if the soil or climate condition change. It is as if you can see the food being digested and how this food is making your body grow. Putting all these things together, we now have a very powerful platform that can produce actionable data. This information allows farmers to improve their crop yields using the right amount of fertilizers at the right places and at the right time. Farmers would also know the best type of crop to plant in a particular area. As their crop grows, farmers would be given early warning to avoid costly infestation. Finally, our technology could also tell farmers when is the best time to plant and when is the best time to harvest their crop. How does all this come together in terms of saving the planet? In 2019, Listenfield received the UNDP Low Carbon Award. The UNDP evaluated our farming model and estimated that we could deliver an average of 48 to 66% reduction of carbon dioxide emission compared to conventional farming. To further develop, we set up Listen Field Japan. I'm glad to say that Professor Kiyoshi Honda was my co-founder for this company. The name Listen Field reflects our realization that nature has always been trying to tell us many important things if only we could know how to listen. Taking one step further, Listen Field is now looking at DNA sequencing of plants. 
This is how the plants interact with environmental condition can produce the quality in fruit and vegetable that we design. Texture, taste, nutritional contents, and so on. Another technology that we are using to help farmers to produce more clean food and more, more productive is multispectral imaging technology. This technology allows machines to see what we humans cannot see, a kind of X-ray vision from the sky. How is this useful? I will give you two examples. First is to manage nitrogen stress. Multispectral imaging can help determine whether crops have enough fertilizer at particular location in the plot of land. Then we can manage fertilizer by added or cut back. And then we can also help farmers to maintain the high yield as well as manage the minimum amount of fertilizer. In some plants, if we add too much fertilizer, it increases the risk of lodging, which means that the stem of the plant bends over, making it very difficult to harvest the grain and gradually reduce the yield. This is how we economize on the use of fertilizer and at the same time maintaining high yields. Second example is we use multispectral images to manage water stress. For example, in oranges, if not enough water, oranges cannot survive. But just enough water stress, the oranges will become sweeter. This is what I'm saying. Machine vision, in this case, multispectral imaging is precision agriculture that would help farmers to cut costs, raise output, and making our planet more sustainable at the same time. Not long ago, we submitted our technology and our model to, Japanese, to, to the government of Japan. It is now a part of Japan agricultural reform. I believe that Japanese authorities think as we do, that investing in, in, in an API integration platform could help to transform agriculture practice into precision agriculture. This could be the technological infrastructure that help redefine agriculture into precision agriculture and can help farmers to produce the better product at the same time. I also set up Listen Field Thailand two years ago to promote adoption of this technology widely in my country. We made a good progress. There are 30,000 farmers on our platform, over farmland of 17,000 hectares. More importantly, 70% of our farmers are producing organic farming. In general, agricultural data in Thailand is numerous, but really fragmented and scattered, and therefore not helpful for Thai farmers. Our API integration platform will integrate this data in such a way that farmers can easily use them to make info important information, important decisions in terms of planting, harvesting, and minimizing costs. Imagine how comforting it will be for farmers if they could see their fields in all dimensions up close with our machine vision. Imagine 
how farmer welfare will improve if uncertainty about their harvest are greatly reduced. Imagine how assured we consumer would feel if we know that chemical use have been reduced to a minimum. I believe that our API integration platform with machine vision technology could help to transform agricultural practice into precision agriculture at the same time, help farmers to produce more better product. My life story have given me some important lessons. If something fascinates me, I will do my best to list out for it. In life, I have to deal with many setbacks and lacking skill such as English. This means that I need to work myself much harder to limit my endurance. But working hard has been rewarding. So far, I only have to cope with setback, never fail. I cannot claim that I found success, but I can say this. Many people that I have met have been really kind and thoughtful. I always admit that I don't know. Please help me learn. And I will show them that I will work really hard to learn and truly understand it. The bottom line is this. Whenever I was given the opportunity, I would never back away. It is a great privilege for me to be here with you today, but all good things must come to an end. I would like to leave you with this thought. Where you come from need not matter. It is about how you decide what you do today and every day to do, define your life tomorrow. Promise yourself as I have made promise to myself, live your life in the way that make this world a better place. Find time to be nice to yourself, but always be nice to your neighbor. And please listen to what our planet is telling us. My name is Lasalin Chinasho Tilanan, and I thank you very much for watching my talk. ขอบคุณและสวัสดีค่ะ